everyone, and welcome back to Fallout. This is episode five. Last time, we were searching for information on where the hell we can get this uh, water chip. And we've been kind of pointed in the direction of the necropolis, and we've entered the sewer system, and that's kind of where we're at. Uh, so we're going to navigate the sewers and see where we can go from here. I think we want to go this way because there were two manholes. So I think that's just going to take us not where we need to go. But let's go here because it looks like there could be some remains for us potentially. Good loot, maybe. There is a bunch of, um, actually, if I, never mind. I was going to say if I quickly stop moving, I might be able to sneak, but that's okay. Um, Ian is bringing up the rear. Okay, we got a room of more rats. Now, if I actually try and just leave... Okay, it's not going to work, is it? And then I'm going to leave again. Okay, I've ended, I've ended combat. What we're going to try and do is we're going to sneak. And maybe... Maybe in the darkness, we'll be able to sneak past these, uh... Come on, game, you can do it. Let me. There we go. We're gonna see if we can sneak past these more rats. Okay. We cannot sneak past them. Ah! I was hit for no damage, though, so that's okay. And Ian's closer here now, so... It's gonna hurt you a lot, and me not at all. Is he hitting them now? Is he out of... Oh, he's out of bullets, isn't he? Ian's out of bullets, so he's just hitting them with his gun. Okay. You know what? I don't think it's too late. You know? I, I don't think it's too late for us to leave and restock. Maybe buy some bullets. Oh no, hang on, he shot a bullet. He's okay. He just chose to whack him in the head. Okay. Ian's just making his own choices. But I do I do think that it is not the worst idea in the world um, for us to potentially go back to a settlement and get some get some bullets. I'm tempted to try my luck. Oh you're running away, eh? The left paw of the rat is blown off. He's running away. Shoot him in the ass! My arm is... my aim is blocked. Yes. Get him! Shoot him in the ass! Why is my aim blocked? Get him in the ass! Oh, okay, Ian. Ian, I can't do this. He's getting away. I missed. Okay, just leave it up to Ian. There we go. Yo, level up. Nice. All right, we have a level up. Uh, guns. Speech. Um... I would like to improve my sneaking and my lock picking. Um, my bartering. My, uh, and my first aid. Okay, let me loot this thing. Zombie guard. Oh, actually, there's actually something here. A cattle prod. A farmer's best friend model cattle prod from Watts Electronics uses small energy cells for power. So it has 20 to, out of 20 shots for a small energy cell. Okay, we have an energy weapon. I'm not very uh, good with those. However, we could give it to Ian to save... Um, 
uh, you know, to save his bullets. And we can put him in the melee game. See how he goes with that. He does use um, energy cells, I suppose, which is a little bit of a shame. I've offloaded some of these in my inventory just to give them to him uh, at the moment because I don't have a use for them. I bought them because I went, ooh, shiny, and then I've kind of realized, you know what? Will I really have a use for them? I don't know. Isn't that funny? And exciting? There's some sort of rank disgusting smell coming from this sewer drain after a few moments. It doesn't smell as bad. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go up this way. Took on some more rats and lived to tell the tale. We'll see how well this... Oh, actually. Oh. Dead bodies. We'll see how well this goes. Let's sell that for money, at least. I don't feel too confident. But at the same time, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? This place gives me the creeps. Ooh, wait, don't shoot. Okay, we got some friendly ghouls here. Thank you for not shooting first. Can I help you with anything? Nice. All right, we got some friendly ghouls. Uh, yes, I'm looking for water. The surface of Necropolis and the water is controlled by Set and his ghouls. We are a much more peaceful group, which disgusts Set. Okay, who is this Set? Set is a ghoul like us, but has assumed a certain amount of power in the above ground world. He is an oaf. <laughs> Why does he let you survive down here? He does not speak of it. However, Set is afraid of not having enough people to defend Necropolis if it ever needed it, so he gives us what water we need. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a water chip to give my people the water they need. Do you know where I might find one? Since our pump stopped working, we've been getting our water from a place under the ground. I've heard that a water computer is being used to purify the water. A water computer would need a water chip. Where's that? The watershed is to the north. You'll need to take the sewers to get there. Thanks. Nice. Okay. Well, this is going to become a problem, isn't it? You aren't thinking of taking the water chip from us, are you? Well, you see, ma'am. Why? If you take the water chip from us, then we will all die. With our water pump broken, we need it to survive. Is it possible that your pump could be fixed? That may be difficult. The parts needed to fix the pump were lost in the sewers under the watershed. Okay, why is that so difficult? The sewers there are filled with monsters, and none of my people that I have sent to retrieve them have come back. Are you willing to retrieve the parts so that the water pump can be fixed? Yes. Thank you. When you get the parts, return here. It is possible I can help you further. Okay, I'll be on my way then. An alternative is so much easier to be evil uh, when you can just go, ah, I don't care about you. Ah, I'm stealing your water chip. But we're like, ah, man. It's not your fault that you're down here, ghouls. All right, we, so we need to go underneath the watershed. I need my book. Hold on a minute. Where's my, where's my trusty, uh, where's my trusty book? I need to write down these details because we don't have a goddamn quest log. Okay. Um, water chip. A water chip is in the watershed. Um, pump broken. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, parts under shed. Real monsters are down there. And then, um, off to the north, it said, right? Northern direction. Northern direction. Um, I'm assuming that when we open up the map on our Pip-Boy, that it's just, that is going to be our north-ish, right? Just, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. 
Uh, I've written down water sh water chip in the watershed. The pump is broken. Puts into the shed. All right. We have a lead. I can't talk now. I'm watching out for danger. All right. All right we've got another ladder. A million rats. Oh, hang on. Ooh, are, they, are these the people, potentially? This is, could be the monsters. And the people that they send. We're, we're, we're scouting ahead. Ooh, first aid kit. Can I take this, guys? Considering I'm gonna do your job for you. Thank you. This chair looks like it has seen better years. An old beat-up mattress. You think you see some sort of small bug-like critter infesting... Lovely. An old barrel made from steel. We're hiding here. Please don't tell anyone where we are. The super mutants are gonna kill us someday and set does not help. <gasps> there are super mutants. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Ian. We're going to go this way. Past the million rats. You know, oh my god. You know, you know what, man? I don't want to fight rats. Can we sneak past the rats? Surely we we'll sneak past the rats. Let me get out of combat. Let me sneak past the rats. Let's go, Ian. Sneak past the rat. Damn it! I can't even sneak past rats. What am I? No! I can't even sneak past the rats. I'm not wasting my bullets on rats, man. Put your butt. Get punched. Ian, help. Ian's gonna waste his bullets on these goddamn rats. Oh my god. Alright, let's continue sneaking. Oh my god. Alright. This is not going well in the sneaking department. Huh! The rat is seriously wounded for that one hit point. Let's go. This sucks. I may as well just shoot him. <laughs> when just like combat with rats can take so long, dude. Right, there goes facing the other way. Go, 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 go. Why aren't you sneaking anymore? Oh, if you double click, I think it stops the sneak. Go, 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 get him, get out of here. We're doing it, we're sneaking. Get out of here, dude. Oh, oh, okay. Sneak over. Ian, help me. Help me. Get him in the body. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Ian. Time to loot the bodies. Anything that we need down here? Oh. The groin, get him. And of course I've missed. Okay, Ian, just use all your action points. Like, that's fine. Just walking up to it. Oh, he's out of ammo, I think, so he's just gonna start fucking Yeah, he's out of ammo for the SMG, so he's 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 down to punching. <laughs> Ian has resorted to punching. A very large pile of bleached bones. You cannot determine the species of the dead critters. Whoa, what is that? Plasma pistol. Damn. Glock 86 plasma pistol designed by the Gaston Glock AI shoots a small bolt of superheated plasma powered by a small energy cell. Well, I'm not good with energy weapons. Again, I just might give that to Ian. He can just have all of my my shit. Ah, uh, 
I don't think this is where the warship is. It's not going to be that easy, is it? We're going to go even further. I was really hoping that it would be so easy. Right, Ian. How would you... You don't even have a knife. How would you like a knife? And also, how would you like an energy pistol? Have fun, man. Or a plasma pistol, I should say. Alright. Back to, back to sneaking. Sneaking. Go this way, quick. Oh. oh, no, I walked right into one. I stepped on the rat. Oh, I stepped on the rat, God damn it! Quick, clear a path. All right, get out of here. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Fucking rats, man. Hey, get this one. Ah. God damn. Let's go, Ian. Wasting time. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Because this is, I guess this is the under, will be underneath. So this will be uh, where we can get the parts. And then I guess if we go up there, that'll be the actual shed with the chip. So we'll do it this way. Okay. This is gonna be f this is gonna be easy, isn't it? This will be just such a fun time. Okay. Looks like I need to go up and down again. So we're gonna be we're gonna be a bit all over the place to get through these sewers. Maybe we might even be able to meet Set and then maybe trade with him. I can buy some stuff. Who knows? Ooh, okay. Where are we right now? Okay. Are these guys nice? Leave me alone. Okay, well, I mean, it's not that they're nice, but it's just that they're not feral. Hi. Hello. <laughs> All right, not feral. I guess it's never gonna be sunny in the Acropolis. Hi, hi. Hi. God, there's no, a uh, lot, of, lot of good NPC dialogue here. I'm gonna just point there and just go there. To the one room that looks like it's got lights on. Love the designs of these houses though. Oh, hey. whoa! You not look like ghoul. How come? <laughs> I'm like, I'm just gonna go to this direction. Oh no, I've just run into a super mutant, dude. Is this set though? My god. This is so cool. Um that's because I dressed up really snazzy today. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew not full Harry. My god, super mutant. Um Yeah, that's pretty obvious. You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul, not be here. Who's giving you orders? Lou, tell me watch place. Not let no one in. Not normals most. Take normals to the loo. Hey. Okay, Harry and Lou. Take normals to the loo. Okay, let's go see Lou. Oh! My god, hello. Oh. 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 Oh, Robo Brains! This is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. Whoa, dude. It's, it's like a scientist. Super mutant. Okay. Is this Lou? There's Robo Brains. What do you want with me? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. Okay, uh, this is bad. I haven't saved this whole sewer trip. Um, tell you, you're almost funny. We shall see, won't we? 
My god, this dude looks so cool. What is going on? Oh, I just got punched in the face. Feel better now? <laughs> Since torture is such a crass, yet oddly satisfying and effective technique, I'll ask you once more, nicely. Where is the vault? I, I just got kidnapped by an evil scientist super mutant. Um, okay. I'm not telling. I rather hoped you'd say that. Oh, I just got punched again. Run away. How was that? <laughs> In a more chatty mood? Now, where were we? Oh, of course. The vault. It's... It's... In your dreams! Quick, inventory! Stim pack! <laughs> Use the stim pack! Get more health! Run away! Run! Ian! Run away from him! He's coming towards us! Who the fuck's that? Member of the children of the... Oh! A member of the children of the cathedral? Oh shit, dude's got a minigun. A lieutenant of the master's army. Whoa! Where are we? You see a sign on the door stating that's out of order. We It looks like we're kind of in a, like, a vault type deal, but I don't think we are. There's a Mr. Handy. Oh my god, I've just got, I've just accidentally fallen in, into, right into a super mutant base. Yo! Children of the Cathedral! We got a bunch of wizards. Oh, dude! This looks so cool! Wow. Okay. I love that he's just given up the chase. All right. I actually thought we would have just been chased this whole way. Can I talk to the Robo Brains? Damn, I can't talk to the Robo Brains. Mac 4 computer. I'm good with computers. The screen is showing odd color patterns. See? I'm so good with computers. Uh, let's science this computer. Let's go. The monitor flickers. Science. Okay, I can't do anything about these robo brains. This machine has something to do with the robot service base. It does not look particularly interesting. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, how do I get out of here? Because it's not looking good. We literally have a force field here. This is out of order. This guy just really stopped looking for us very quickly. Is it out of order or is it a trick? No, nope, it's definitely out of order. Okay. What if I use repair? Fix this bad boy. Fix it. I cannot repair that. Okay. All right. You know what this means. I'm going to go talk to this guy. Oh, there's a locker here. You know what? Container appears locked. All right. We're going to sneak past this guy. Look at us go. Now, the fact that we have not saved is hilarious. Oh! He's coming for me. He's coming for me, chief. Oh, shit. We're in combat. Whoa! Your life ends in the wasteland. There was another super mutant there with a goddamn rocket launcher and it just blew us all up. <laughs> oh my god. And the lone wanderer's journey comes to a close <laughs> as he eats um, a rocket to the face and the cathedral guy goes with me. Oh, that's so funny. Okay. I haven't saved at all. So that's okay. We haven't lost that much progress. We haven't lost that much progress at all. Uh, I just have to do what we just did. And then maybe I won't get caught by the super mutant this time. And we'll try and be a little bit more careful. This is why you need to save very, very often. Because sometimes you just end up ta being taken into some sort of weird super mutant base and being blown up with a rocket launcher after being punched in the face twice. Great story. All right, what we're gonna do is I've left the necropolis. 
because I'm going to sell some stuff. Now, I bought these things being like, ooh, cool, fancy equipment. And you know what? I wholly regret that decision, <laughs> but that's okay because we live and we learn. Um, I'm going to sell it. Look, if I need it for anything, I'll come I'll come back and I'll get it later. Um, but I'm going to sell it because I need the caps because we need to focus on supplies. Uh, so we've gone back and we, we do get our discount, which is lovely. Um, we're going to buy some bullets for my hunting rifle. And we're going to buy... We're going to buy the shotgun and we're going to buy the shotgun shells. I'm going to buy the sledgehammer and we're going to give the sledgehammer to Ian in case he runs out of bullets and he can just start whacking things. I think that could be a good idea. How much do grenades cost? 200 per grenade. You can keep it. All right, we're, I'm going to sell this equipment and we are going to i'm going to take my hunting rifle i'm going to have my pistol i'm going to give my pistol bullets to ian and i'm going to enjoy my shotgun because if i have to fight any super mutants i'm going to put the barrels down their throats and make them taste it which is going to be great so i think that this is a good choice um we are going to Balance that out with some caps. Maybe we'll just need to do some jobs that can get us paid. And I think that's going to do it for me. Unfortunately, it does not sell any 10 millimeter bullets here. So we have to buy them elsewhere. There's our trade, baby. Thanks, Beth. All right. We have stuff. So... I guess the good thing that we can do is I can use two weapons. So I'm going to do a hunting rifle and I'm going to have a shotgun. I'm going to, I'm going to mix it up with my two weapons. And then in terms of my bullets, we're going to go, we're going to go sharpen. Oops, 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 oops. Don't do that. Um, we are going to go sharpening. Alright, we are back in this area, and we can give this another try. So... Oh. Larry. Okay, hang on. We've got another... We've got a super mutant here that I didn't even see, and then I think this is the room to that guy. And there's a sewer grating right here. The water pump isn't working. Yep, that's our water pump. Okay. I need to repair the water pump. I need to go get the parts though, right? It's a good thing this man can't see. All right, let's go. This time we mean business. Um, underneath the watershed search this junk, but we've got to go through some enemies to get there. Okay, it's time. Oh! We've got a hunting rifle now. We've upgraded our game. And I've also got my shotgun. This might be overkill to use it on this guy. I might die in this next rifle hit. Hey! Yeah. Yep. Nice. We'll kill the rat while we're at it too. Now, my shotgun can do 12 to 22 damage, which is nice. Alright. Alright, Ian, are you ready for these bad boys? Because I'm ready for these bad boys. Thank you for moving within range. That's so kind of you. Hey, yeah. Twelve hit points. Yeah. 
Nice. Double attack. And the rat's coming in. Right, time to reload. Ah! Move out of the way because so Ian doesn't shoot me when he shoots this rat. Hell yeah. Overkill. 29 points on that tough rat. I mean, it is a tough rat, I guess. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Out of ammo. Forgot to reload. Should have just used a targeted attack. I love getting hit for no damage. It's great. All right, we're doing much better than just using our one pistol now. We've upgraded. We're switching between a rifle and a shotgun and Ian's here too. And he's no longer here because he's decided he wants to leave. I swear there was another mole rat in here. Um, nice. Did I just pick up the junk? Is it in my inventory now? What'd I get? A pile of junk parts. A little bit of everything. I'm assuming these are the parts for the for the water tank, right? Because it's underneath the the pump. Our problem is if we enter this room, there's a super mutant in there, and he kidnaps us and takes us to some weird base, and then we get punched in the face, uh, and then we die. Ian, where are you going? Settle down. If you disturb the boss, he's going to hit you. Oh, well, we know that much. Okay. Let's have a look around. Oh my god. Okay, there's another one. Hey, no talking. It disturbs my thinking. Larry and Terry. Okay, and Harry. I've got some names here. We've got named super mutants. The only one that actually talks to us and doesn't like that we're here is uh, Harry. He wants to take us to Lou. I wonder if his name's Lou, because he's a lieutenant. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've reached our maximum amount of save slots, so I think I'm now going to have to just start at the beginning and start saving over these once again. So we're just going to start saving. Um, is there no other entrance into the water thing, or have I got to go through this guy? All right, well we've saved. This is good, so we're in a we're in a good spot. I might have to because <laughs> we agreed to go see Lou. I might have to put up a fight here. I think we're gonna go and fight some super mutants. But I'm wondering if I can. How good do you reckon our sneak is? Probably not very good. I just hey, ran in. You not look like ghoul. How come? Sometimes the sneak works when you just pick an area, but other times you need to press shift so he walks, so it's... Uh, <sighs> this person will not barter with you. What if I say Lou? He lieutenant. He my boss. Not tell him, but Harry could take on good day. It actually is called Lou because it's lieutenant. Oh, that's fucking fantastic. I uh, love that. Okay. Uh, Harry. What? Terry. Not have to tell you anything. Harry. What? What? Um, oh my god, that's incredible. Okay. Um, water. Uh, not no. <laughs> incredible. Okay. Um,. I am a ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not fool, Harry. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul, not be here. The elastic in the mouth, like exposing the teeth. Okay, I'll be leaving. Harry think he beat your head now. Okay, we're in combat. All right. What was that? What is that? What did he just shoot me with? 
Ian, I'm going outside. Okay, the other guys aren't helping. This is great. I don't have enough action points. Oh my god. Ian! Oh god, there's another one in there. What the? Oh god. Oh, there's another two in there. Oh no. Good luck, Ian. He's gone in there and we never saw him ever again. Okay. First aid kit. You cannot use first aid kit in combat? Oh shit. Alright, well I'm screwed. Heal. Got stim packs do not heal much, do they? Okay. Alright, Ian, I'm back. Oh, get him. He smiled when you shot him. 20 hit points, nice. Okay. Oh, there's a third one in that room. Aha, he missed. Alright. I'm gonna fuck him up, Ian, don't worry. Just gotta get out. I'm gonna go for these guys. Hiya! Hiya! I don't know how much health they got, but we're gonna try our best. Can we take on this room? If you weren't there, Ian, I'd throw the grenade that I have. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, one of them's running away. Oh shit. Ian was hit instead of you. Oh, he's trying to go for me? 29 hit points, god damn. Oh yeah, god, this whole reload thing. That's a hell of a thing, in it? Alright. Grind shot. Grind shot, 95. Boom! Sally. I was hitting the groin. Oh, and then I can use my two leftover points to reload again. Nice. Haha, <laughs> what a feeble attempt. Groan. I got him in punched in the face. I feel, I feel, oh, I'm glad that he keeps missing, but we need to get rid of this. These ones are just small time because they're punching. I need to actually get these guys. I need to get this guy out of here. Nice. 42 hit points. Vital spot knocking the giant to the ground. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, these ones don't hit much. Oh, God. Aha. You missed. Harry's gonna die. Okay. Let's reload. Targeted attack. The groin. Groin shot. Get back on the ground. 33 hit points and he's still alive. Unbelievable. Reload. Come on. Harry was killed. Let's go. We got Harry. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, they're doing more damage now that we've actually, like, killed the boss. Nice. Oh, this is so good. We're in super mutant combat. Ian, come back. Okay, everybody, everybody's just, everybody's taking a breather, I guess. Oh no, that one's got one too. Ian, no, that one's got one as well. Oh shit. Ian! Ian! No, Ian! I gotta help you. I gotta knock this one to the ground. You're gonna get blown up. No! Ian was hit for 55 hit points and was killed. He wasn't just killed, he was burned to death. Oh, and there's an... Oh! Burned to death. Oh, it's a laser rifle. Damn. All right, well, we're not losing Ian, obviously, because that's not good for anyone. So I have to reload. Because any encounter where Ian dies is not going to work out well. Oh, look at him in there. Okay, so there's three in there. And one's got a flamethrower. Okay, this is exciting. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? I'm curious, right? What are we going to do is before we get into combat again, we're going to go back to this place and I want to see what happens just out of curiosity. If we actually do just give up the location to Vault 13, I'm super curious. So let's do this. 
You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not fool, Harry. You not ghoul. Or to say, not ghoul, not be here. Oh, you find out soon. Oh, nice. Different dialogue option. Oh, this is excellent. You know, I actually doubted my officers when they said they'd captured a prime normal. It is so nice to see you. Different dialogue options to still get to this point. Um, it's just such a well-spoken super mutant. It's so wild. All right, tell me about Lou. I won't even dignify that with an answer. Harry. That question is irrelevant to the unity. Unity. The unity is the goal of all super mutants. Through the FEV virus, we will bring all of humanity together in peace. Dude, the FEV virus. The FEV virus was discovered by the Master many years ago. It is what makes us the Chosen Ones. But you will soon learn that, I assure you. Okay, we're getting some lore, Master. The Master is father to us all. Whoa, okay, we're getting weird. Father. That's not important right now. The Father. That question is irrelevant to the Unity. The Master is father to us all. Whoa, okay. This is crazy, okay. Um, what are they called again? Children of the what? Because it's not children of the atom, which is where my brain wants to go. Children. That's not important right now. I've forgotten what the, what it is. Oh, this is so cool. Super mutant. I won't even dignify that with an answer. I think my favorite part about the tell me about thing is being able to actually engage in a, a conversation with your, the character you're speaking to. It's like so impressive that you can be like, hey, tell me about this. And they answer. And then you can look at keywords in their dialogue and press them further. And they explain it. And I just, I love it so much. Like, it's so cool that you can do that. And I wish that that was like much more of a thing that you could do. Like, that is such a great system. It has so much potential. It's crazy. Um, so cool. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Um, what do you want with me? Why, when you become one of us, of course. I can't have a perfectly good prime normal and not make it one of the chosen ones, now can I? After you tell me where your vault is. Uh, chosen ones. I won't even dignify that with an answer. I won't even dignify that with... Okay. I tried. Uh, on one condition. Conditions? How delightful. Go ahead, amuse me with your condition. Oh, this is cool. I want to go free. Put a bag over your head so I can stand being in your presence. I want to be able to ask you some questions first. Oh, man, I really like how many different ways this seems like it can go. Why, certainly, my dear human. I'm curious just to see what you'll ask. What is it that you do here? My dear human, this is the great procreator. Here we'll make others of the master race and ensure the unity. It's all quite glorious, I assure you. Through talking to a random super mutant thug in the necropolis, like while doing your quest, you can... Mosey your way through dialogue to get taken to like some super evil scientist super mutant who's talking about a grand master plan for the wasteland. And I just think that the absolute instant escalation of that of, oh no, my vault needs water to, there's a guy out here going, I'm going to do the FEV virus and everyone's going to become super mutants for the unity and I serve the master. And it's just like, I'm sat here being like, this feels like I shouldn't be here. I don't belong here. How the hell did I get here? Um, and the fact that this is like completely missable, depending on how you even interact with that random super mutant is hilarious to me. It's just like, Hey, do you want to just like shoot everything and go through here and just do what I 
assume is considered normal? Or do you want to talk to this guy and end up in a intellectual conversation with Lou Tennant? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Tell me about the unity. The unity is our goal. It is quite simple, really. Certainly, even you have noticed the steady downhill slide of civilization. Oh, yeah, but... The super mutant is the next advancement in human evolution. To save the world, we will convert all the worthy individuals. Simple, efficient, glorious. How are you more advanced? Intuitively obvious to the most casual observer. We are highly intelligent and immune to disease. The strong survive. It is our goal to improve the human race. So is the church, right? The church are probably doing some sort of... If they're involved and they're down here as well, they would be involved with this unity plan. So we've got super mutants being like, oh, if you're not a ghoul, you go to the boss. And then the children, are like the church, they're like, hey... Send them off to the super mutants, human trafficking style. And then they like serve this master. I wonder where the hell we are though. Actually, we should pull up the map, see where it tells us that we are. Um, very cool. Pretty lofty goal. How are you made like this? Ah, uh, the wonders of technology. Before the war, the human scientists made a drug called FEV. It was designed to make the perfect human. So you're the perfect human? Better. More than human. I too was once human. Like you, I was a slug wallowing in the mud before being exposed to FEV and undergoing my glorious transformation. So you're planning on dipping everyone in this FEV? Exactly. Now you see. Ah. Uh. Sure I do. Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. We have all the time in the world. Trust me. I think my favorite thing is because of how much I'm being like, hey man, can I just ask you some questions and I'll give you what you know? He's actually so cooperative. He just wants to actually, he wants to grandstand about this whole thing, which I think is great. Because I actually get to go through all the dialogue and be like, can you tell me everything that's going on here? Because... This is so random. Who do you work for? We all work for the master to uphold the glory of the unity. He was the first, you see. Oh, I've got to meet this master. This is cool. Okay. And I like that you, it seems like we're in a situation where we can ask some repeat questions because what I really like about the flow of this game is you go through the dialogue trees and there's many, many different types of options that it feels like, like I've touched on this already, that you can't just exhaust all of them. It's not that type of game. Um, so you really need to pick and choose what you want to say appropriately. Like you can't just go into a situation and go, ha ha, I'm going to be the funny dickhead and then not expect the consequences. It's great. How did you come to work for him? Fate. Luck of the draw. I was the strongest of my batch to be dipped in the virus. And I have always supported the ideals of the unity and the master. For he is right. And for my devotion, I have been rewarded. So what's this master like? He was our guide to the life-giving virus. And he is father to us all. And he so wants to meet you. I hope you are honored. Where is he? He's busy with the children of the cathedral. They actually consider us gods, but then who can blame them? Okay, yeah, children of the cathedral. Of the cathedral. Nothing but a device to further our plans. No matter, all humans will be chosen or dead. God, this is so cool. Okay. My, aren't we conceited? Is honesty conceit? We are the next step in evolution. Through our unity, the world will survive. Where is the conceit in that? Oh, I don't want to antagonize you. I don't want to get punched in the face right now. I want to talk to you more. 
Well, whatever you say. Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. We okay. What do you want me for? Oh, haven't you figured it out yet? You're a prime normal. Soon you'll be one of us. Prime normal. Prime normal. That question is irrelevant to the unity. Isn't it like kind of a core component of it though? <laughs> um, before I become a dip. <laughs> There's a couple of things. Why am I a prime human? The FEV was mutated by the war radiation. Those living in this desolate wasteland have been exposed to this mutant FEV, essentially inoculating them from the full effects. Ah, it's a vault dweller thing. Cool. So you need those who are uncontaminated in order to make super mutants. Oh my, you are brighter than I thought. Now you know why we need your vault. It's a big vault. How about some, more, some small answers first? How could I possibly refuse a request phrased like that? Cool. I actually want to go through some of these other choices. So I'm going to dance back again. So what is it you do? My dear human, this is the great procreator. Sounds like it. Why yeah, do you need all this to uh, procreate? The Presently, there is a slight problem in the reproductive process. It's being attended to. For now, we must use the vats to turn humans into super mutants. You'll experience that glory yourself momentarily. Oh, goody. A few more questions before I glow? How could I possibly refuse a... <laughs> I really adore this, right? Like, this is just so cool that it's like, you can have an interaction where we talk to this guy, we just refuse him, and he just starts beating us. <laughs> <laughs> and then we run away and get blown up by some dude with a rocket launcher. Or we can actually engage in some intellectual conversation, my good sir. We can talk about the FEV virus and the master plan, the grand plan of the universe. It's just so cool. Um, I really do love it. Okay, um, let's... What we're going to do is I we're going to give him the location of the vault. And I want to see how this plays out. Yeah. Haven't you figured it out yet? The FEV was mute. So you're from a vault and have limited exposure to this mutated virus. The original FEV in the vats should work quite well on you. And how do you know this? We have done extensive experiments on humans to reach this conclusion. My master has been searching for unopened vaults to prove his theories. And now... You've come along. How thoughtful of you. I think we have to resist him a bit before we can give up the information. So we'll say, you won't find it. We shall see, won't we? Run away! All right, now... Ow. <laughs> you, you feel were... better now? <laughs> He's just walking away. Since torture is such a crass... <laughs> Yet oddly satisfying and effective technique. I'll ask you once more, nicely. Where is the vault? Oh, I forgot to check the map of where we are. All right. Uh, oh, actually, where are we? Where are we? That question is irrelevant to the unity. Location? I won't even dig Damn it. Damn it. All right. You win. Let's cross the mountains to the west. I'll draw you a map. Excellent. I believe you understand. So you're sure you want to tell where the vault is? Torture can be so enjoyable. Now that you mention it, no. I'm sure. Oh, okay, what the hell? Oh, I'm being... I'm being FEV'd. God, they've like mummified me. Where's Ian, you bastards? What have you done with Ian? Oh no. <laughs> Dude, why am I mummified? This is horrifying. Oh, my claustrophobia. Dude, the claustrophobia. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my God. Vault 13. 
Oh, they break into it. Dude, I couldn't imagine being like mummified and then, oh, I couldn't imagine being mummified and then dropped into a pool of like goop. Oh. <laughs> Dude, alternate ending. We just, we just, we've ended the game guys. I think we just got to the end. <laughs> oh shit. I just accidentally stumbled into the bad ending. <laughs> I can't believe I'm watching this right now. Damn, Vault 13 is fighting back. Oh, dude, the Overseer has giant miniguns. That's such a conflicting statement to say giant mini, but big Gatling guns on his chair. <laughs> what a defense. Oh my god. Oh, my. oh, nice. All right, guys, that's the canonical end of Fallout 1. <laughs> you tell them where it is, you get turned into a super mutant, and then they go and clear it out. Oh my god. Well, that doesn't really feel like the unity, does it? Because aren't all of those humans eligible to become super mutants? Isn't that crazy? They kind of just go in there and they clean house instead of like being like, you're all going to become like us. Maybe they tried. Maybe there was like some sort of dialogue that they tried to have, but they all resisted. And they probably would because they're seeing super mutants for the first time in their life. Okay, so that's how that encounter can go. We learned some interesting lore. We got some good information there. Now let's jump in and shoot these bastards and repair this water pump. All right, first and foremost... I need this. Uh, we're going to use... I don't know how much we heal in a first aid kit. Minor wounds. Well, let's try this. You heal one hit point? Wait, what? Oh, hang on, what is... Wait, what's going on? You heal 3 hit points, you earn 26 XP for honing your skills. Wait, what's going on with this first aid kit? I have multiple of them. I thought that... I failed to do any healing. Oh, wait a minute. I've fundamentally misunderstood what the hell first aid kits are. I thought it would just be like... healing more... And then a stim pack. I don't know, because it's just, you know, video game mentality of large first aid kit usually heals more. I'm too tired. Oh, I've used all a bunch of action points. Is that right? I don't know why I have two and then one here. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, Ian, let's go kill this guy. Let's kill this guy. Hey, you not look like ghoul. How come? All right, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, I'm not a ghoul. You not ghoul. I knew. I knew. Not fool, Harry. You're right. Now that you know, I have to kill you. All right, straight in. We're going straight into it. And you missed. I'm. I'm not gonna suffer the first blow, you fool. You are. Ugh. Your pitiful weapons will not harm me. Okay. So, we need to be careful about the third super mutant that comes in. Because the third super mutant is going to be so excited to... Um, burn us alive. Alright, time to knock you to the ground. We just need Ian to not get blown up. Nice miss, bud. Ready? Groin shot. Hitting the groin. I 
low damage. God, these misses are good. Gary and Harry missed. I just need Ian to not go after the flamethrower one without me, you know? You're not suffering as much damage as I want you to. How does my shotgun do so much less than your SMG right there? God damn. Harry, Sally, and Harry, come on. You can't beat me. Groin shot. We need to get this guy onto the ground again. We were doing so much better last time in terms of damage and actually getting him down onto the ground. This is pitiful. At least we're getting some good misses here. I can appreciate that. We're not doing much damage at point blank range. Ouch. Thank you. It's hit for 10 points. I'm going to die. Ouch. Ian's getting smacked around. Oh no, he's moving. He's leaving, which means he's almost dead. Is that a death? Yes, Harry was hit for two hit points and killed. He was almost dead. All right, this is good. Because now what I can make sure that we do is... All I need to do essentially is just block Ian from going th <laughs> through this door. Make sure we deal with these super mutes first. Ah, my leg! It's hitting the right leg for six hit points. We got this, Ian. Groin. Nice. A groin kill. 30 hit points. Striking vital spot. Gary was killed. Alright, this is good. Ooh, watch out. Alright, I'm going to go here. Block the doorway. We got this, Ian. Whoa! Dude! 65 hit points! Oh, that was so cool. Dude, 65 hit points. Okay, it's my turn to shine here. I need to not get flamed. 65 hit points. Super Mutant basically exploded. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm gonna I'm gonna burn to death. Oh god, I'm terrified of this. Alright, um Hi. Can I interest you in a groin shot? Please get knocked down to the ground. Ah! Oh my god, no. Um Right Ian, I'm gonna move out of the doorway now. Killed. Barry was killed. God, the stress of the flamethrower. Give me that. Hey, Ian, can you wield a flamethrower, dude? Oh, dude, nice. I wonder if these guys work with or work for uh, set. Okay. Ian. Oh, hang on. I can barter with you too. He's not going to equip that sledgehammer, is he? Uh, can you please? Yes, dude. Okay. 7 out of 12 shots. 5 out of 5 shots of flamethrower fuel. I'm going to give you that. That's 5k. We're going to sell this for big money, baby, when we go back into the, into the city. Um... You take that, you hold on to that. And I guess I can steal it back from him later to sell. Never mind, Ian. Good job, buddy. Job well done. We just took on a bunch of super mutants together. Oh, and we got we got paid. We have been paid in bullets, which is great, because we can give this to 
Uh, we can give those bullets to Ian for his SMG. Nice. I'll hold on to them for now. Payday, baby. Well, that's very good. All right. Outside of some silly little confusing moments there with certain items and getting our absolute butt kicked and flamed and all sorts, we've killed four super mutants. Harry and Sally and Gary. And Barry, I think. The water pump isn't working. I have the parts for it. Repair. You failed to repair the water pump. Oh no. My skill might not be high enough. Oh, my skill might not be high enough. Oh, but we'll keep trying. 36% chance, right? I don't know if that's how it works every time. I do know if we keep trying, there is a chance. <gasps> it might need a new fuse. It gave us some more dialogue this time. Okay. Well, we have the parts. Maybe... Let's have a look down here. I cannot get there. Let's go down here. Maybe... If I go back to them and I go, look, I've got the parts. There might be some more dialogue. Lockpick. Come on, I got this. Lockpick. Lockpick. I'm really failing at everything here. I reckon I can do this. I can definitely do this. I believe in myself. That's all you need, right? Just pure belief. Yes! Pure belief. Hey, eh? you can do it. You just gotta keep being persistent. Thanks for letting me out. Uh, where does the water come from? They pump it up from the wells below. There's a manhole in the cell next door that leads to the old vault. Oh, it's an old vault. This is the source of the water. If it wasn't for those ones below, we'd be a lot better off. What do you mean? It's difficult to make the old tech work properly sometimes. The glowing ones lash out whenever we go down there. Our schools just leave them alone, and the big mutants don't seem to care one bit. Okay, good luck. Bye. We gained 500 experience points for freeing the ghoul prisoner. Thanks again. Okay, cool. There's a... There's a way down into the vault. But that takes, that takes us to, there it is, nice. That takes us to the control chip, the water chip. However, problem, I don't necessarily want to just take it from those, from those ghouls. So I think if we go back to them, um, I'll be like, hey, I got the parts. Now I need you to do it. If I give you the parts, can you repair it? I don't know. Um, that's what I'm thinking, you know what I mean? So, what we're going to do now that I've killed a bunch of super mutants, gotten the junk parts, have access to this pump, also have information on how to get to the water chip in the old vault, which is really awesome, uh, we can proceed. Oh god, I thought this was going to happen. No, you weren't supposed to hear all those gunshots, man. You weren't supposed to hear all those gunshots, dude. I don't want to have to do this, Larry. But I'm doing it. I'm hitting you with goddamn more points than I was. Uh, our other friend, when I was right in front of his face. Groin. Nice. And that was a kill. Hell yeah. Groin and killed. Your pitiful weapons will not harm me. Okay, we're, we're killing... We're killing you as well. Gotcha. Oh, you don't even have anything on you. That's the true pitiful nature. And here I thought we could be friends, super mutants. Right, everything has improved substantially. Changing weapons. <laughs> like, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Everything is now improved for the better for me. Oh! Whoa! Bypassing your armor, the blow knocks you off your feet. Damn. 
Um, sheesh. He can help. Whoa, I riddled, riddled him with bullets. Nice work. Terry's out of here. All right. I think that was all of our super mutants. Let's go. Let's go looting then. First aid on me. Cannot do that in combat. No. First aid on me. You're too tired. Do I need to like sleep in a I need to sleep in a bed or something? So I can stop being too tired. Right, let's let's get out of here. Was the entrance? Ah, oh, it's this room, isn't it? It's this building. We're gonna go back to those ghouls. I'm gonna be like, look, we have parts now. Please help. Even if you were to sleep by yourself in this thing, you would not be sleeping alone. But I need to. I need to go rest at a an inn or something so I can stop being so goddamn tired. All right, we'll head back this way. I used all of my first aid stuff. Way too early. All right, and now we'll go back here. Maybe I could sleep here, because these guys are friendly. Wonder if these guys will let me sleep in here. Hello, I bring you water chip. I mean, not water chip, but like, I, I bring you the parts. You have returned. You have the parts needed to repair the pump? Yeah, here they are. Well, it looks like you may need some help with the parts. Here are some books that we've found littered around. They may help you. Oh my god. Did you just give me a... Did he just give me skill books? Oh, you gave me... <laughs> He just gave me skill books because he's like, hey man, you look a little bit stupid. Have some, do some reading. Oh my god, that's amazing. You learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. Oh, that's hilarious. So he doesn't, we can't, I was hoping for an alternate outcome where we give him the parts and that suffices, but he's like, no, help. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go repair it now. I'll, I'll happily go and repair it for that. All right, we've, this has been successful. We made some silly little mistakes here, but then we've reassessed after a, a very funny death where we got taken down to some mysterious base with a lieutenant. I have no idea how we even get there because we just get transported there. So we've avoided that by being a little bit smarter this time. We've reassessed, we've rearmed ourselves. We've killed some super mutants. We're about to repair a water pump after getting some some books. Where is my... Oh my god, he's taking his sweet time. We're going to repair this water pump. And then we can go get that chip. And then we're good. Which is awesome because that's our main quest. And then we can go back to Vault 13 and be the hero of the world. And we'll be like, we literally have got the control chip. It exists. It's real. I'm so excited because this game has been quite challenging. It's got quite a steep learning curve and there's a lot to like, I guess, adjust and get used to. And I have to take my back, uh, myself back 25 years into like a, a game like this. Some of it comes quite intuitively. Some of it really helps when you already have some Fallout sort of know-how from the Bethesda games. Um, but I'm really kind of happy that it's definitely not perfect. It's definitely not optimized in terms of how we're playing this game, but it's a lot of fun and it's enjoyable and the mistakes are fun to learn from, you know? Let's repair this thing. Let's keep trying to repair this thing. Come on, I read books, man. Yeah, oh, never mind. Come on, I, I, I've done it. Come on. I got this, I got this, I got this. I'm good at this. We're, 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 I'm good at this. Okay, actually, maybe I have to use the item. Do I have to use... Maybe I have to use it? 
That does nothing. <laughs> that does nothing. Okay. I thought I was being smart. Hang on. Come on, I read three books. Damn, I'm not sm I'm still not smart enough. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I think we might I think we might have it. I think it's this. This is the menu where it's like this is the use examine use item on and use skill on. I think if we go into the bag and then we pick the junk parts. We did it. The massive punk pump uh, struggles to life after you successfully install the missing parts. You gain a thousand experience points for fixing the pump. We did it. There you go. Okay. You can't just use the parts in front of the thing. You have to select the thing and go in the thing and do the thing. All right, there we go. We've understood how to do this. Wonderful. And now I will heal myself with the stim pack because we do not have that much health. Uh, Ian's got a bunch of backup stim packs in his inventory. I put them on him just in case he heals himself, but I don't think he can. So I still have some stim packs. Okay, I think that is definitely worth saving. Uh, so we are saving. <laughs> and we're going to go. Uh, let's get down here. Down the manhole, into the vault. And now we'll be able to take the water chip without um, pissing off the, the friendly ghouls because we fixed the water pump. Whoa. Oh, they're the glowing ones. We haven't even encountered this set guy. I don't even know where he is. We should probably, I guess we'll look around the necropolis. Maybe we'll see if we can find this dude. Because uh, I haven't encountered this apparent ghoul. He's probably, he's not even real. He's a figment of their imagination. All right, Ian, are you ready for whatever the fuck this is? Yo, okay, another vault. This is so fun. Should we just go straight into combat? I don't think that these are friendly. Like, the guy said that they're not friendly, I don't think, so... hey -ya! The ghoul sentry. We're making the first move. Hope I can keep your head intact. Oh my god. Ian! Oh no, Ian, don't stand behind me. You're gonna shoot me in the back of the head. Ian, no! He's reloading. Don't shoot me in the back of the head. Thank you. Oh, he's out of ammo. It's alright. I've got ammo to give him. Oh, nice. They actually go down pretty quick. Yeah, I'll give Ian some ammo after this fight. He's pretty good with his uh, with his hand to hand, though. Ah. Well, maybe not dead yet. Ah, glowing one. Nice. All right. Uh, Ian, I want to use steel on you just to make sure that this still works with the stuff I've given you. Dude, are you going to equip any of this stuff? Surely I can ask him to do it. Can you... Yeah, draw your best weapon. What weapons are you skilled with? It's a good shot with any sort of pistol. Can use a submachine gun. Well, like, draw your best weapon next time. Sure thing. All right, let's see what happens. Because he's got a bunch of weapons, dude. He just needs to use his brain. You got this, Ian. I believe in you. You don't need to punch him. You're holding, like, five weapons. And one of them is also a pistol. The vault looks particularly scavenged. You think to yourself that nothing of value could possibly remain. At the very least, we know that there is a water chip here. So that's nice confirmation. I still don't exactly know where the water chip is located, but, um, let's go. Let's go down the elevator. It's working. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be on the bottom level, but let's check out level two. Bunch of glowing ones. More glowing ones. I'm looking for lockers as well to see if there's anything to maybe like loot in here, but I think 
They're just chilling in here. Air processing unit. Uh, we're going to leave you guys be, if you don't mind. I can always come back for the experience points later, if I need experience points to level up. Alright, here's some lockers. Ooh, there's a dead guy. The remains of a merchant. Oh, there we go. You see a water processing control computer. There it is. Alright, good to know. Let's go and loot these lockers. These ghouls won't know what hit them. Oh. Oh. All right. Ian, let's get him. They killed a random merchant guy. I'll put a shotgun in their face. I didn't mean to go into combat. hi -ya! A dirt nap will be given if alterations are made. Last one here tried. Oh, they're actually not inherently. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not inherently aggressive. You mind if I loot this guy? Okay, nothing. Um, I have a feeling that they're going to know if I take this chip then. <laughs> like, don't try anything. And then they'll they'll become enemies. All right. Let's save. We'll take it. Du, 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 du. You gain a thousand experience points for getting a water chip. Let's go. Okay. Let's have a look. After shutting down the water purification computer, you can now hear the repaired water pump working in the distance, bringing water up from what must be a deep well under Necropolis. Yes, and we've gained a level. Pick a perk. Let's have a look. Awareness. All right. I need to pick something great. Now, let me have a look. All right, guys, Swift Learner again. No. <laughs> um, I'm tempted to get strong back. I'm tempted to get strong back so we can carry more. Sharpshooter. Getting things at longer distances, you get a plus two bonus for each level of this perk to perception for the purposes of determining range modifiers. This might be really good. Uh, better able to avoid unwanted attention while traveling through the wasteland. Cool. Better store your equipment. The AP cost is reduced. That's good. Can I get a reduction of AP cost to shoot? Bonus hand to hand. Awareness. More likely to notice details about people. For each level of bonus, you get two free APs each turn for movement. You can move two free hexes each turn. That's really good. More than likely to move first. Plus two skill points when you gain a new experience level. Oh, best purchased early. It's plus two every time. Empathy. You will see the reaction level of the person you're talking to when involved in an in-depth conversation. Damn. Characters that are part of your team are highlighted green in combat instead of red. Ah, oh, that's good. <laughs> uh, two to five hit points when healed when using first aid or doctor. Okay. Interesting. I think what we're going to get... I love the fact that night vision actually reduces an overall darkness level while exploring. It kind of is really awesome. I think we're going to get sharpshooter. I'm going to get sharpshooter. And I'm going to bump these up. Our repair skill got a huge bump, which is so good. Um, actually... I'm going to do that. We're going to put points into sneak. Uh, our speech is up, up quite high. Our small guns are down there. This should be very good. This should be very good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And they didn't even notice. At least... They haven't noticed. The computer cannot be repaired without a functional water chip. Okay. How many days have we got? And we got 
we got 80 days. We got 80 days to spare. You know what? That's pretty damn good. I think we've done okay. We've made some like significant mistakes, some misplays. It's all been kind of a mess, but it's been it's been pretty fun. And we ha we're not like on a intense time pressure where we've run out of time for this chip. I'm proud of myself. And I owe it all thanks to this quest log of mine. Not really. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get attacked. You guys didn't even notice, you sillies. They didn't even notice. They're like, don't try anything. What if I take your water? And they're like, OK, you can take our water. I got no reason to waste bullets on these guys. If I need the XP, I can always come back for them later. Awesome. OK. Oh god, music got really weird for a second there. Well, we're bringing this episode of Fallout to a close with that sweet, sweet victory. Uh, we have repaired the water pump, we've got the water chip, uh, we had some really fun combat encounters, and we're gonna not head back to Vault 13 immediately, not yet, uh, because I think we should take a look around and see if we can find this set person, and maybe see what's going on here and we'll check back in with the uh, friendly ghouls downstairs as well. So we'll continue exploring the necropolis before we head out and we'll, we'll check back in with uh, the hub probably before we make the journey back to Vault 13 just to refresh ourselves and then we get to solve our water crisis. This feels so good. Our first like major quest uh, is about to be completed. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Fallout. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.